You know, hundreds of unemployed tri-staters have contacted us in recent months, many with problems collecting benefits and almost all hoping to find work as well. So WP, WCPO, that is, has teamed up with Cincinnati Works to hold a virtual job fair next week. Make a note of it. Consumer reporter John Matteris covers the rebound with a preview of one of the local companies that's currently hiring. Need a job? Well, we may have a lead for you with a virtual job fair next Friday. We visited one of the companies taking part in the fair, a Springdale firm that needs workers now. Ashley Duncan of Newport, Kentucky shared her frustration with us a few weeks ago about trying to find a job right now. She's not even fussy about the pay. I moved into my own apartment in February and it, it's, a, it's very expensive. So she might want to check out the WCPO and Cincinnati Works virtual job fair this Friday. <laughs> Among the companies taking part, Pro Ampac. Even if you've never heard of them, you've probably used their paper bags or plastic packages. A lot of things you'll see in grocery store like the packages of applesauce that little kids can eat right out of. Hiring recruiter Abby Grubb showed me the Springdale factory floor where plastic sheets are turned into boxes and bags. During this year when so many companies have seen their business drop off, Pro Ampac has seen their business improve because they make packaging for all those things that we've been ordering while we're home this year. There's a lot more shipping going on. Abby says the company needs people for its expanding workforce with starting pay averaging from 14 to $17 an hour. Yeah, it's great, family, very family oriented. Interested? Go to WCPO.com and look for our virtual job fair report or email your resume to events at CincinnatiWorks.org by Tuesday, August 25th. The job fair takes place Friday, August 28th. If this is not quite what you're looking for, we also have job openings at a local biotech company and a Cincinnati beer brewery. We'll tell you about them in the next couple of days. Covering the rebound, I'm John Matteris, WCPO 9 News.